Yes, hi again. It's me, Meli Kachin, and today's uh, lecture will be again uh, continuing our uh, previous uh, lectures. It's going to be about uh, good and bad bishops, uh, what to do and what not to do. So this game, um, I represent a game uh, from back to 1960 between two Soviet Union grandmasters. Uh, as a white, we had um, Yuri Averbach, and as a black, we had uh, Semyon uh, Furman. Uh, former coach of Anatoly Karpov, uh, 12 world champion. So uh, the game is interesting uh, may, because many many concepts here. So the first move uh, it was uh, black. It was um, uh, black's turn here. And black went here, bishop a3. That's the first mistake. Uh, very typical mistake had been made by black. Let me explain you why I think this is uh, one of the decisive mistake in this position. Um, few principles. First of all, we're dealing with uh, isolated pawn on d5. And uh, one of the main, um, let's say, main laws uh, about playing with that pawn, it's very simple. If you have a pawn on the white square, let's say d5 at this point, you try always keep your dark bishop alive. Because typically, um, if we call if we will call d5 pawn as a pawn as a weak pawn, it's only because dark squares around that pawn. That means if we call dark squares as a possible weak squares, then we have to keep our bishop, our dark bishop alive in order to control to defend those squares. That's the first mistake has been made uh, from black point of view, from black side. And the second mistake. Even if, if we look at it, uh, let's say, uh, position itself, we have uh, two minor pieces. We have uh, two bishops, d6 and a6. I think it was Tarash uh, who said a long time ago, um, in most of the situations where we are dealing, where we are having, uh, I mean, uh, both bishops, uh, two bishops, um, one of them uh, usually very good, and second one at least not that good. In fact, uh, Trading bishop a3 uh, was a bad idea because um, the pawns a6, b7, and d5 stand on the light squares. And that means uh, e6 bishop itself already restricted because he has to always defend d5 pawns. So he's pretty much uh, really defended. And the idea of trading the other guy uh, was already wrong. So um, as a best option, I guess, for white, I mean for black, uh, I assume was simply to play, let's say, B, uh, queen f7 right here to defend d5 pawn and just uh, pretty much stay chill. Uh, just a uh, little bit passive, but it's fine. I, I mean, it's not that really bad for now. So, get back to the game. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.